Welcome back. Now it's time for one of my favorite parts of the show. We are ready to make dessert. And joining me is Mary Hostetter. She is the owner of the Blue Owl Restaurant in historic Kimswick, Missouri. Mary, thanks so much for joining us tonight. Thank you, Barb, for having me. I'm excited. We're glad to have you back with us. It's been a while. Oh, it has, but I'm happy to be here. Great. Well, Mary has been with the Blue Owl for 26 years, and she has um, cooked on the Food Network with Paula Dean and her boys, and she's been on the Travel Channel. You've done all kinds of really interesting things. I have lots of interesting people at your restaurant, I'm sure. We well, have, and just been very blessed over all these years to own the Blue Owl and to have all the wonderful things that have happened. And you're noted for real comfort food, salads and soups, everything homemade, wonderful desserts, and especially pies, right? Right. Your signature. Uh, our pies, award-winning pies and cheesecakes, cakes, you name it, we do it all. And people love to come to the Blue Owl. So tell us what we're going to make tonight. I'm going to make one of our customers' favorites. It's a strawberry lover's pie. Mm -hmm. And with strawberry season just around the corner, I think they're going to absolutely love making this pie in their kitchen. I know. I'm going to love tasting it because it's <laughs> strawberries and chocolate, two of my absolute favorites. So let me grab the chocolate. That's okay. the first layer, right? Yes, right. Okay. So in the microwave, we just melted the semi-sweet chips with a little bit of butter. Right. And, and we're going to actually, um, I'll just blend this together and it's nice and smooth. And then I'm going to put this first layer on top of the pie crust. And we always use the homemade pie crust at the Blue Owl. So let me just put this on. I'll spread it around. And then we're going to let it set up and chill before we add the next layer to the pie. OK. Shiny and pretty. That's oh, great. yes. Yeah. Now tell us a little bit about your pie crust. You say it's always homemade. Oh, yes. What and our it pie different? crust, it's, it's always made with butter flavored Crisco. I think it gives it a beautiful golden texture, uh, golden look, and uh, just really simply buttery and delicious. And we make it all by hand. All the fluting, all the crust is done by hand That's at the Blue Owl. That's amazing because you make thousands of pies, right? We do, Barb. Yes. We make all different kinds of pies, too. Our, our case, every day our bakery case has just a large variety of homemade pies. Just, I mean, made just like Grandma's. Oh, wonderful. Okay, so what comes okay. next? And now I'm going to beat the cream cheese okay. with some sour cream and sugar. And I'll add a, about a teaspoon of vanilla to that. And I'll beat it till it's light and fluffy. I love the smell of vanilla. Oh, oh my too. goodness, really you know good. What? I have a little tip I'm going to show you. I have a, a little slip mat here. Do you ever have oh, a little bowl kind of moves around? That's a great idea. That's just a Thank piece you. Of like a shelf liner. If you put oh, it underneath there, good idea. the bowl doesn't twirl around. Okay, so now I'm just going to turn the mixer on and I'm going to make this light and fluffy. Looks good. There we go. So our next layer is going to be the cream cheese. And we're going to put this on top of the chocolate and spread that nice and evenly over that. So there's several layers to this pie, but it looks like really everything is pretty simple to put together. It's not mm -hmm. hard at all. I think that the viewers can really enjoy making this pie and actually there's not even that many ingredients in it. Great. But just pick out those wonderful fresh strawberries. Okay. Mm, looks so this beautiful. layer ready to go. Very pretty. Okay. And now we're going to place the uh, strawberry glaze on top of our fresh strawberries. And this can be found in the Deerberg's Produce Department. So I'm going to just pour this on top of the berries and then just fold the glaze around the berries so that they're all covered completely. So shiny and pretty. Oh, it's it makes color. it makes for a beautiful pie and it tastes delicious too. Now we're actually using the stem on berries this time because they're a little bit larger and makes the pie a little bit more dramatic, don't you think? Oh, without a doubt. Yeah, and then having the berries all the same size, I think, helps to make it look oh, a little more Oh, it looks beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. Very much uniform and, oh my gosh, they smell so good and they taste delicious. Oh, can't wait. Okay, so I've got this folded in and then I'm going to probably take a fork and um, I think this is the easiest way to do this. It's probably not quite as messy if you use your hands, oh, yeah. but I'm going to take this and I'll just place it with the fork in the center. And that okay. way I can work around it to the uh, sides of the pie. Okay. The outer edges. Just twirl this okay. way a little sure, bit. Sure, that's go. great. Here we go. Oh, these nice, beautiful berries. Oh, they are pretty. Now, is this a pie that you would make during your strawberry festival? Oh, yes. Our strawberry yeah. festival in Kemswick is June the 4th and 5th this year. Uh -huh. And we make all different kinds of strawberry desserts. Everything from strawberry dobosh cake. We do strawberry cheesecake, strawberry short cheesecake. We have strawberry shortcake pie and strawberry shortcakes. Strawberry ice cream. You name it, we wow. make it. As well mm. as strawberry stuffed fritch toast. Ooh. So our salads have strawberries. We're just... 
Strawberries that, everywhere. That French toast sounds really good. Oh, it's delicious. Yeah. yeah. And uh, how did you get started, Mary? You were actually just baking in your home? Is that what you did? Yes, I was baking pastries started? and cookies out of my home. Uh -huh. And I actually would go to the craft fairs and festivals on the weekends, and I would sell my baked goods. And um, before just a short period of time passed, I had orders for over 30,000 cookies oh made out of my goodness. own kitchen Whoa. in my own oven. Yes. So it was time so to move to another facility then. It was then. time to, to either expand wow. or to do something totally different. And God has blessed me because I love what I do. How amazing. It's a great story. Okay, and my last berry. Oh my goodness. What a perfect fit. There, yes, yeah. absolutely. And aren't yeah. they beautiful? Oh, so pretty. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to take, we don't want to waste a drop of this glaze. Yeah. So we're gonna fill in in between the strawberries and just put all of this glaze on top of the pie so that it'll be that much more delicious. It looks wonderful. Now how far in advance can you make this pie? Actually, you can make it the day ahead if you'd like. Can you? I wouldn't make it farther than that just okay. because of the berries. You want them to be nice and fresh. And um, you can definitely make it the day ahead though. Nice Beautiful. and full. There you yes. are. Okay. Good. There we are. All right, so what comes next? Well, now we're going to actually take the chocolate and we're going to drizzle chocolate over the top of this. All right. So we've got the semi-sweet chocolate morsels that are melted in the microwave. And then we're going to just take, and with the flick of a wrist, we're going to drizzle the chocolate over the top of the strawberries and the glaze. I like that flick oh, thing. Yes, <laughs> yes. Just like this. Oh my gosh. Really makes it pretty. It's just a real nice light glaze. Right. Away. A little splatter though. Uh, a little here a little and there bit. without a doubt. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. And now okay. at the Blue Owl, we always add an extra layer of chocolate because there's never enough chocolate anywhere. I can so agree with that. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to take some white chocolate chips and do the same thing. But I've turned my pie the opposite direction okay. so that my uh, swivel can be the opposite direction and just give it a little flare. Now the recipe in the magazine doesn't call for the white chocolate. That's just a TV bonus. Right, exactly. Mary here do the pie. How pretty that looks. Oh, so. absolutely. That really does. There make we it go. Very okay. confident looking. There you go. Okay. And now the last, the last step is actually the whipped cream. Okay. So I want to put the star tip. I'm going to use the star tip, and I'm going to put the whipped cream right here on the edges in four different places, so that I can kind of make an even presentation just like this, and then I'll go back. Oh, the more whipped cream, the better, right? Ah, oh, sure. sure. Here we and go. And I like the, that's a nice tip for how you're gonna divide the cream up. Here right. Because making the pie look pretty, that's just so important. You, you eat with your eyes and you just see it and you automatically just start. Oh, Out of doubt, you know, it's and that's one thing at the Blue Owl, we garnish everything. Mm. We decorate, we garnish, and make it absolutely beautiful because I think that it tastes even better when it looks better. I agree, yes. it's just wonderful. Oh, we're almost done. Okay, so um, we can make this the day ahead, but can we go ahead and get a sample of it now? Is it okay? Actually, Barb, I think we need to let it set up because oh. cream cheese layer has to kind of set up before we actually cut into the pie. So I'm going to have to wait. Oh, but we have a surprise for you, Barb. Waiting is no fun. Oh. So Mary made a pie a little earlier oh. so we could sample it. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. So I don't have to wait. How nice. <laughs> Okay. So. Cut into that. <laughs> All right. Now, if you can't wait for the Strawberry Festival or to visit the Blue Owl and visit Mary, you can make this pie for yourself. It's featured on the front cover of the magazine. In fact, all of the recipes that we've done tonight are in the March edition of the Everybody Cooks magazine. So be sure to stop by Deerberg's and pick up your free copy. Mary, thank you so much for being here. This has been great fun. Thank you very much, and Barb. I know you're going to love making Mary's pie. It's really, as you can see, easy to do. It's so delicious and beautiful. So thank you very much. Thanks for having me, Barb. Thank it was too. fun. Good, Good night. night.